<laughs> so, and dito po sa akin ngayon, ang pinaka favorite kong gaming phone for this year. Si Xiaomi 12T. For the first time ever, hindi na pa ako naglalaro sa aking iPhone 14 Pro Max. Sure ka ba dyan? Unbelievable. I have totally given up the iPhone sa gaming for this. Ano bang meron sa phone to? Well, una-una, sobrang optimized niya po sa mga games. This is the first time I have ever seen this kind of optimization in any phone. Mobile Legends, Ultra Refresh Rate, Ultra Graphics, sabay-sabay, 60 frames per second. Wait, mali pala. Guys, legit, 120 frames per second nung binus namin sa game space dito sa Xiaomi 12T. What? Oh my God! Next, sa Call of Duty naman, meron siyang 90 frames per second option. It blew our minds. Sa Genshin Impact, naku, minanila niya, binasic 60 plus FPS at the highest settings possible. At partida, hindi po uminit ng todo yung phone. iPhone ko, uminit si Genshin Impact. Ayaw ko siyang laruin dyan. Other gaming phones, umiinit din. There is something about this phone na kakaiba. And that is all thanks to its brand new Dimensity 8100 Ultra 5nm chip. Guys, this processor will let you forget the Snapdragon. I have to say, I have never been this blown away by a gaming phone. Like ever. Lagi like akong underwhelmed sa mga gaming phones so far. But this, grabe. MediaTek has came at the right time, at the right place. But before I show you the Antutu benchmarks, mga gameplay and things like that, mag-unbox muna tayo. Alamin natin kung ano okay dito kay Xiaomi 12T. But si Bins, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo! Oh, by the way, if you want to check out the full specs of this phone, punta lang sa unboxdiaries.com. We've got it. All for you. Okay, so i unbox muna natin siya. Ano kaya yung itsura niya? Wait, alam niyo ba kung magkano to? 50? 50? <laughs> Layo. Lower, please. 40? <laughs> Mula pa. Lower. 30? Close. Guys, nako. Si Xiaomi 12 nung lumabas earlier this year was 39,999 pesos. This is only 26,000 pesos. Ito na yun. Ito na talaga yung ginitay ko kasi nga sobrang overpriced ng mga phones. Lately, siguro dahil sa inflation, wala akong makita magandang phones this year except for a few Xiaomi phones. And look at this. Xiaomi. Designed by Xiaomi. SIM ejector pin. Warranty card. The quick start guide. The jelly case. Oh man. Siguro doon siya nag cost cutting. And the phone. And what do we have here? Oh my god, this is like 120! I was underwhelmed by the Xiaomi 12, 12 Pro. Kahit yung 12S Ultra, naka 67 watts lang. But now, the 12D is sporting a 120 watts charger. <sighs> wow, ang bilis niyan. Alam kung gano'n ako bilis niyan. Tinas ko yan eh. 18, 19 minutes, 0 to 100%. Last year. This year, hindi ko alam ha. Baka mas mabilis pa. At yung kanyang USB Type-C cable. Ayan. Ilan yung battery nito? 5,000 mil... 5,000. 120 watts. Yeah. It's checking all boxes right now. Parang completo. This is the complete gaming stuff. This is ticking a lot of boxes. Ito natin perfect eh. So ito po yung kanyang itsura. Si Xiaomi 12T ay glass back design. Gradient. Pero matte finish sa likod. Yung camera, 108MP na. Uy, di na pala siya pang gaming. Pang camera din. And look at that. Napansin nyo ba na halos kahawig niya si Xiaomi 12 earlier this year. Kaya lang yung lens niya ay pa square na instead of the circle ng uh, 12 that is a major jump from the Xiaomi 12 which is a 50 MP camera lang ito 108 MP pero of course hindi naman megapixels yung laban dito it's actually the sensor the software malalaman natin yan sa pictures mamaya yung camera module niya is pang 2021 yung design yung uso kasi this year is yung mga palaki ng bilog sa likod yes yun na pa yung uso ngayon but this one still sporting the old camera design which is okay para sa akin pogi pogi pa yung tsura sa likod very elegant very premium point natin sa akin and even the feel feels like a flagship phone and look at this oh hindi na po siya third 3D display it is now a flat display, perfect for gaming. I don't like those curved displays. Nagkakaroon kasi ng mistouch na doon sa edge, doon sa curved part. If you're really into gaming, kailangan flat yung display nyo. Oh, by the way, the display has a big upgrade from the Xiaomi 12. Mamaya malalaman nyo. Okay. Sobrang, sobrang laki ng lundag. Para sa akin, this display is the truth. Kung si Realme dare to leap, ito man, 
truth or dare. Last mo nila. Actually, as a flagship device, napakaganda po niya. Pretty much for everything. For texting, for playing games on this kind of landscape. Para sa akin, napakaganda po ng curve back for gaming. Feels very comfortable, especially for playing long periods of time. Proud na proud kang pwede mag-selfie dito at mag-picture-picture. And at the same time, sobrang ma-appreciate mo siya kapag nakalapag na sa table mo. Kasi nga, magkano ba talaga ang isang tunay na flagship? 80K? 60K kay Samsung? Ang mahal. This one, this is it. 26,000 pesos. Hehehe, <laughs> boy. Flagship at your hands. Uh, this is actually the best. I've tested out, no? Sa games, pretty much everything. Sobrang sulit. Sulit pa ito, guys. Uh, sasabihin ko sa inyo, guys, this is already a super sulit device in my tier list. Pero, man, man. Cover ko muna yung mga buttons and ports niya. Here it is, power button. Sa right side, volume rocker sa taas niya. Sa left side naman, wala. Sa taas nito ay meron tayong, uy. We've got an IR blaster right there. And that looks like a microphone. Uy, mukhang dual speaker siya. This is a speaker. Sa ilalim naman, meron siyang isang speaker dito. Another microphone, USB type support, and the SIM tray. Na dual nano SIM card slot lang siya. Wala po siyang micro SD card slot. Kasi nga flagship na daw yung kanyang level. But don't worry, kasi yung kanyang pinakamaliit na base variant is... 256 gigs na ang dami mo nang pwede ma-install doon at ma-save na photos and videos that's amazing I'm just not sure kung pwede mo siya extend pa yung kanyang RAM but pwede ko pwede naman eh kasi mga bago ngayon pwede na eh just haven't tried it out okay at the front we got here a 6.67 inch 1220p crystal res AMOLED display niya super crystal res siya ang sabi ni Xiaomi ito yung pinaka first nilang crystal res display on their phones bakit mo siya crystal res kasi daw Instead of the usual 1080p display, meron po silang 1220p display dito. Which is 2712 by 1220. This is 480 Hz touch sampling rate at 120 Hz refresh rate na po. Grabe, sobrang impressive nyan. Wait lang, baka puro specs lang yan. Don't be swayed by the specs kasi lahat po legit. Okay. Actually guys, kinumpare ko siya sa aking iPhone 14 Pro Max and the results were quite impressive. Marami kasi brand na nagayabang ng mga specs nila. Kaya lang kapag ka nag-kinumpare na sa mga legit na flagship phones, nanginginig na agad yung tuhod nila. Nagka-crumble na agad. Sabay, iyak sa dulo. But this one, we did the 4K Costa Rica video test. Both are playing a 4K 60 frames per second HDR video sa YouTube. Napansin namin na parang sobrang detailed ng itsura ng screen ni Xiaomi 12T. Yung color mas vibrant, mas pulido, mas punchy compared dun sa iPhone namin. Hindi ako mapaniwala, no? Kasi <laughs> alam ko kung gano'ng kaganda yung isang iPhone display. But this one, it kind of looked washed out compared to my Xiaomi 12T. Grabe, paano nangyari yun? A third of the cost, pero ganito kaganda ang pinakita ni Xiaomi dito. Hindi lang yun, no? Tinry ko lang maglaro ng Mobile Legends dito and wow, na-blown away talaga ako sa itsura ng Mobile Legends. I've never seen Mobile Legends this sharp, this kind of color. Talaga like pop yung kanyang color dito compared sa iPhone ko. Si iPhone talaga, I don't know, maganda na yung graphics niya pero it, it kind of looked washed out compared sa Xiaomi 12T. Sobrang gandang-ganda ko sa display niya. This is next level. Yung nalagay nila dito was not available on the 12 earlier this year. This, that's why. And all of that for under 30,000 pesos. No? A third of the iPhone's price. Napansin ko rin yung graphics ay sobrang napakaganda at ang smooth na tingnan yung gameplay. And I think this is the best time to reintroduce you the star of the show, the Dimensity 8100 Ultra. Guys, ito po yung naging dahilan kung bakit sobrang ganda po ng graphics ng mga games. Sobrang optimized po. And also the camera that you're going to see later ay napakaganda. This is also the one responsible for the visuals. Kahit sa video sa YouTube, guys, yun yung nagpa-process din yan. May video processing din siya. What the Dimensity 8100 is, is a 5 nanometer chipset that also has an all-new GPU, 30% better than its predecessor. Si MediaTek po ay sobrang napaka-confident dito sa chip na to. They are pretty much laying all their chips on this chipset. By the way, hindi po yung pinaka-high-end ni Dimensity na no? meron pa yung 9000 series. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this one is... For the price, to name the best. And yes, meron siyang 5G. So if you're looking for a 5G phone na okay sa gaming, don't look elsewhere. Dito na yan. Now, dito ko lang din na-realize kung gaano ka unreliable yung mga Antutu benchmark. Kasi nga, yung experience ko dito, compared sa Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 8 Plus Gen 1, layo, malayo, no? Even though na mas malaki yung kanilang score kaysa dito, 
This one, nilampaso lang siya. With a 775,000 points sa Antutu Benchmark score, this one, para sa mga Antutu Benchmark geeks, this one is pretty average uh, standards nila. But, I gotta prove you guys wrong. Ako naman sabi sa inyo, pala nagbamatter itong Antutu Benchmark. I've seen 1 million points sa Antutu Benchmark, pero ang pangat sa gaming. Walang ultra refresh rate sa Mobile Legends o iba. Nalalam nyo yun. There are some gaming phones dyan. Black Magic! Walang 90 FPS sa COD or Magic 7. Kahit 1 million points. 7S Pro. Google! Barilig kita sa mukha eh. Na joke lang. Na ito guys, si 8100. It makes everything matter, no? Every game, parang alam mong pulido and actually, hindi lang sa performance at optimization ako na impressed dito. But easily, yung kanyang heating or cooling. Hindi po siya umihinit guys. Kahit po sobrang taas ng settings, Wala pong problema. But let me show you the actual experience on this phone. Okay, so yun nga, sa intro pa lang, sabi ko na meron siya ultra ultra right out of the box. Wala na update update, meron siya agad ng ganong settings. So you know what to expect. Kung mahili ka mag Mobile Legends, nako, this is the cream of the top. At first, no, nag pinlay namin siya, nag 60 FPS lang siya, even though naka ultra refresh rate siya. Yun pala, kala mo pala siya i-play inside of the game space. Here it is. Ito yung, yung game space. Gagawin niya daw console mode ang inyong phone. Magkakaroon siya na sarili niyang UI and also optimizations for some certain games like Mobile Legends. Kapag nasa loob ng game space yung game mo, meron siyang ma-activate na certain optimizations na na si Moonton lang at si Xiaomi ang nakakaalam. Kasi nagulat kami pagpasok namin nag 120 FPS na siya when we click the boost dito sa panel na to kapag ka in-swipe mo, ayan, lalabas yung panel niya. 120 FPS running. At mukhang nag-usap talaga itong si Moonton at si Xiaomi kasi meron ditong MLBB Diamonds para kumita pa sila ng mas madali. Wala ng hassle sa pagbili. May catchy shop and support center para, you know, may support. But yes, here is the gameplay. And this is it, no? Although meron na din ultra refresh rate yung aking iPhone, it's not as smooth as this one. I don't know, there's something about yung Xiaomi 12T Sobrang smooth ng kanyang gameplay at ang ganda, ang ganda ng graphics. Hindi ko alam mayroong special collaboration itong si Xiaomi at si Moonton, but I've never seen Mobile Legends as good as this. Everything from the grass to the drips of water, kumiki ng lahat, sparkles. My eyes are sana all. Alam nyo kung mayroon kayong bonus ngayon, no? 13th month. It's really bonus lahat. Ano? Sana all may 13th month? Okay. Now actually, when playing the game, wala kaming naramdaman na Pagbagal Ang smooth Grabe Feeling ko magkapit bahay lang to si Moonton at si Xiaomi Feeling ko talaga But yes, move on na tayo kay Call of Duty Baka nasa likod lang ng bahay Ni Xiaomi itong si Call of Duty Kasi maganda na yung optimization 90 frames per second mode available Kaya lang, yun nga Since baka mas malayo yung bahay nila Compared kay Moonton <laughs> Kasi nga, naka low graphics lang no Kapag 90 frames per second Dapat kasi nilapitan yung bahay Para very high na At 90 FPS pa Ayun, kaya naman yun eh Kasi dati nagagawa naman mga flagship phone yan But yes, if you enable the 90 FPS mode On Call of Duty Low graphics lang po siya Dito sa settings niya But nevertheless, it looks so smooth Pati yung 480 touch something rate Ay, ramdam mo dito Ang smooth ng galawan Sobrang, sobrang fluid ng motion. Pero kung mas gusto mo yung graphics compared sa frames per second, mag very very high ka na lang lagi, mas ma-appreciate mo yung graphics, no? Katod ko, uh, I prefer, I much prefer graphics over yung... So far, nag-play ako ng dalawang games and never uminit. But what about Genshin Impact, no? Most phones, even my iPhone, hirap na hirap dito sa game na to. Init na init siya. Kailangan pa niya ng paypay lagi. Ang major problem ko lang talaga. Hindi ako mapaglaro sa hapon, guys. Kung frame drops, mainit eh. But this one, no. Finally, you're able to play sa hapon. Kung wala ka school, ha? Kung mag, uh, mag-aral ka. Pero guys, pagkatapos ng school nyo, sabak na diri. Ay, nagpamuta na. But going back sa Genshin Impact, yes, the graphics is top tier. We selected the highest graphics available, 60 frames per second. Siyempre, binus din namin to sa game space. And, alam ko na inisip nyo. Ay, Vince, baka 40 lang yan, 50 FPS. Kasi nga, Dimensity 8100 lang. No! Meron kaming counter guys, nakita namin kung gano'n siya kabilis, 60 plus FPS siya lagi, consistent. Kaya lang kapag nagkakaroon ng maraming effects or may big boss, nag-drop siya sa mga 50, gano'n. Pero, no, sa mga regular fights, 60 FPS pataas, ang smoothing na na. Siguro kung lang nito is yung 120 FPS mode. Kasi sa iPad, meron gano'n eh, 120 FPS na. Oh, this one is lacking that. Baka masyado na malayo yung bahay ni Genshin Impact, however, so... 
Hindi <laughs> na. Ay! Lagi nila 120! Di umabot sa bahay nila. Yun. And guess what? No, yung in-expect ko na init dapat nalalabas kapag ka... Kasi kapag nag-60 FPS na guys, ilang seconds lang iinit na yung phone nyo. Like, instant. This one, di ko lang pala sabihin na wala init talaga. Nag-warm lang siya. It is a comfortable temperature to play this game. Kadalas kasi, kapag naglalaro ng Genshin Impact, uncomfortable na yung init sa ibang phones. It's unbearable. It's not enjoyable. And kailangan mo maglaro sa isang air-conditioned room para hindi todo mag-crash yung game. But this one, okay siya. Pero I, highly, I still highly suggest you play this in a very cool room para walang crashing or frame drops. Pero yun, I'm so impressed na lahat ng usual na problems na nakita ko sa ibang gaming phones ay wala dito. And it doesn't even need those special customized fans na nakita mo sa ibang... Hindi mo naman nahimik, ha? Hindi mo naman nahimik, ha? Hindi mo naman nahimik, ha? Hindi mo naman nahimik pa nga, eh. Pero, mainit pa rin yung phone nila. Yes. Man. Para sa akin, it all just means na hindi ganun kabigat, sometimes, or ka-important yung cooling system. It actually goes both ways. Kailangan yung processor mo din ay cool, manageable. Kung mayroon man anger management na ma-manage talaga nitong si Mediatek. Snapdragon, nagwawala na. So, kaya, after niya magalit, napapagod na. Goodbye. Kaya nagka-crash, eh. Okay, Beans, parang I'm sold na already dyan sa Xiaomi 12T. Kaya lang, baka naman mabilis maubos yung kanyang battery. Sabi mo kasi meron siyang 120 watts fast charging kasi pag gano'n kasi, mabilis maubos yung battery. Well, at some point, well, I can't speak for the safety or kagandahan ng kanyang battery in the long term. Kasi nga, bago ko lang siya na-review, it's just been with me for about a week or two. Pero so far, right now, mas mahaba yung kanyang battery life compared sa aking iPhone 14 Pro Max. So there you go. Pero yun, 120 watts, ito na po yung charging speed. 0 to 100%, ito na po. So ito na, 120 watts of charging power. We were surprised, no? Kasi 5 minutes, 11%. 10 minutes, 43% na siya. And in just 15 minutes, 65% na siya. And in just 26 minutes, 100%. Okay, so not as fast as the others, the competition, and even the Xiaomi 11T Pro last year. Mas mabilis pa rin yun. Not sure what happened here, but we will try again next time. Baka mas mabilis pa. Now, here's something na hindi ko masyado na-focus in this review. No? Baka kasi inisip nyo na gaming phone lang siya, stick pa rin kayo sa flagship nyo. Guys, na-surprise din ako. When I saw the pictures and videos that came out on this phone, this could easily be a flagship replacement. Now, tulad na sinabi ko, yung Dimensity 8100 Ultra, hindi lang siya responsible for the graphics and the videos or the display. It's also responsible for the camera. Every photo or video na kinakapture nito, yung kanyang APU po ang gumagana. Siya po yung nagre-render nun. Using the Imagic 780 Photo and Video Capture Engine, the camera on this thing is top-notch. Napansin namin, maganda yung kanyang colors. Although not super accurate, no? Alam mo talagang medyo may enhancement ng konti. Yung whites, mas pinapawhite pa niya ng konti. Kasi sa real life, yung mga whites ay hindi ganun ka-white. Pero this one is making it super white. The contrast is very high on this phone. Also, the HDR is exceptional. Ang ganda nung uh, balancing of lighting of the darkest parts of the picture and the brightest parts of the picture. Maganda rin ang itsura ng mga tao dito. Ang pogi-pogi ko. Ang ganda-ganda ng mga empleyado ko. And the 20 megapixel selfie camera is quite good as well. Yes, the difference is actually the processor here. No, I've seen kasi yung mga gawa ni Xiaomi before, yung mga Snapdragon processors. Hindi siya ganito kaganda. Although, yes, napasin nyo ba yan? Sobrang white ng damit ko. Sobrang vibrant ng color sa likod. In real life, it's not that super white. Ganda rin ang beautification, no? Sobrang natural tingnan. Sa video, you can actually take 4K up to 30 frames per second. You can also shoot HDR video. Kaya lang walang 1080p 60 frames per second. 30 FPS lang po yung kanyang kaya sa HDR mode. But then, we found the video to be very, very impressive. Napaka-stable po niya. Napaka-ganda ng color reproduction. Yung auto-focusing could be much better, I guess. Nahirapan siya sa mga small objects. Siguro sa detection na yun. But so far, I am impressed with the camera on this phone. And even its pro mode, naku, meron pa siyang pro video mode dito. Nakita mo pa yun yung meron siyang audio monitoring. Ayan yung nakita mo. Nice. May histogram. Kompleto dito yung kanyang white balancing and settings. Parang professional camera talaga. So yun, I gotta say na sobrang clear na ngayon yung mga pictures and videos dito sa bagong, bagong Xiaomi 12T compared sa 12. How much was that? 39?
$26,999.40k. This one is only 26,999 pesos, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage. And just like any phone I review, nilalagay ko po siya sa tier list namin. And this one belongs to the Pantheons of Legends. Katabi niya, si Poco F4 GT. Hindi na siya mag-isa. Madalas mag-isa yun. Ngayon may kasama na siya. Si Xiaomi 12T. Check it out sa UnboxDiaries.com, our full tier list of all the smartphones. Actually, personally, dito na maglalaro lagi and goodbye. Well, not sa camera. Pero kung, you know, wala halong biro. Uh, if you got the money, kung may bonus ka ngayon, 13th month pay, ito na yung mo. Promise, hindi ka madidismaya. Flagship for that price. Hard to beat, hard to beat. And if you want to see more videos or more smartphones na ganito kasulit, mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the like one, so that you don't miss any of my great content about si Bins, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo!